you know, venous thromboembolism affects about nine, 900,000 Americans each year. Um, and Zerolto was the first uh, NOAC approved for the prevention and treatment of VTE. Um, but actually there is limited information about how the NOACs uh, perform in, in everyday real world practice. So we're excited actually to um, announce the results of Zalia, which is the first prospective observational non-interventional study which looks at the efficacy and safety of Zerolto in everyday real world practice. Zalia was a uh, post uh, authorization commitment uh, from the um, European Medicine Agency. Uh, we were hoping to look at the efficacy safety uh, in, the, in the real world practice. So this was an, a very large 5,000 patient observational study that was performed in 21 countries looking at the efficacy safety of Zerolto compared to standard of care. Uh, the results of Zalia show that actually Zerolto uh, for the safety and efficacy uh, is generally consistent with what was observed in the Einstein program, which were the studies that uh, supported the approval of Zerolto uh, worldwide. Zerolto uh, actually has the most published data um, in the real world um, across multiple indications, uh, looking at uh, well, we've looking at uh, both efficacy, safety, and adherence. So in addition to uh, the safety and efficacy, which was generally consistent with the phase three studies, um, the, the study also looked at healthcare utilization and actually found that looking at the length of stay, the, the length of time that patients were hospitalized, and found that on average, patients on Zerolta were hospitalized five days versus 7.7 .7 days. Uh, in patients on standard of care, which usually involved low molecular weight heparin and, and warfarin treatment. So that was very reassuring to us that not only were the results consistent with the phase three trials, there was uh, fewer days in the hospital for patients treated with Zerolta. Oftentimes when patients are hospitalized that are on standard of care, they receive low molecular weight heparin and patients are kept, into the ho kept in the hospital and then transitioned to warfarin. That takes much longer, typically, than just putting a patient on oral Zerolto, uh, which doesn't require uh, blood monitoring like warfarin and uh, allows the patients um, to have fewer hospital days. So this study, as I mentioned, was conducted in 21 countries throughout the world. Uh, Canada was the one country uh, in, in North America, but we've actually initiated another study um, looking at the real world, uh, real world evaluation of Zeralto and patients with deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism in the United States. We're committed to the studying of Zeralto, both with efficacy, safety, and adherence. And this, this, these studies contribute to all the real world uh, data that we have, and we continually um, are committed uh, to look at the real world efficacy, safety, and adherence of our medicine.